Check out more cool videos at thecutup.net. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash thecutup. Okay, everyone. Places. Places. Oops. Action. Welcome to the history of Hammer Fight. The next game in the Humble Bundle 3. And I don't know anything about this. So... Start a new game here. Play. From the earliest times, people had been finding broken machines beneath the vaults of the abyss. Machines that, with skillful hands, could be made to fly. Okay, fair enough. Let's move on here. This creation world. all there is to controlling is just swinging the mouse around to uh, basically use some some sort of uh, built-in physics to swing the hammer that's attached to your weird flying barrel. Hopefully it's a keg and it's filled with gear. Oh. Okay, so now I'm really trying to Take that. making comments because I'm not really sure how to feel about this. It's just a mouse controlled quick little fight. Like, I'm not uh, since I'm a puss, I'm just gonna go regular and not hard here. I'm get your results per level, too. Though it's hard for me to really understand what they're grading me on, but Presentation is very, very 16-bit in my my opinion. Maybe even maybe 32-bit. Like th this game could have been on like PlayStation or uh, something similar to that. With the music and the graphics, I don't know why, but I'm getting a really strange like combo of Prince of Persia and Abe's Odyssey or something like that. Uh, with Flying keg barrels filled with beer, hammering other things. Oh. Okay, so that guy's a serious hammer. I just got like this swinging ace thing. That guy's gonna drop me.
yeah, that's all there is to this game, is just swinging your mouse around and hoping you hit the other guy. It's interesting, I'll give it that, but I don't think it's a game that I'll keep playing. So let's see what they're grading you on here. Apparently got a silver star or something. Now apparently I have a stone mace that I can pay for. I earn fame for beating the guy. You earn points. I know that I was collecting gold as we were fighting. So he's telling me he's got to leave, so this means it'll be the tutorial. Oh. Apparently I'm being too overzealous maybe. Um, this might seem like a cop-out because I'm not doing well, but I am not feeling this game. Uh, this is one I'm definitely going to pass on. Uh, but out of four, with one, only one of them not being, uh, that great, at least to me anyway, uh, you might play this and think this is amazing. Yeah, to you, you might think this is amazing. I, I I'm gonna pass. And, uh, say, you know, hey, it's a one game out of the six that isn't great. But then again, we got two more to go, don't we? Here we are with Steel Storm, the technically sixth game in the Humble Indie Bundle three. Uh, this game was actually added as a sixth game to the current five that are there. So let's give it a shot here. Okay, let's give ourselves let's give ourselves a nice turquoise color. Okay. Episode 1. So this is another one that I have absolutely no idea what we're getting into. So hopefully it'll tell us. Hey, mouse movement. WASD keys. So this is like an over-the-top, almost like a dual joystick shooter. The one thing I can say about the controls is it feels good. It feels like an, an arcade sh uh, shooter should. Stuff. Let's get to the action. We're seeing a lot of these guys here. Okay. 
question arises for me, um, and this is going to be a complete gamer dork question, uh, but I couldn't help but listen to the noises and see that the console as the game was opening up. Couldn't help but remind me of Quake. I don't know if this is using one of the Quake engines, like Quake 2 or something like that, but that voice that was used in the background there even sounded like an old uh, id software Quake 2 sound. Looks like yeah, that's the end of the first level. Or I don't know if they're just basing it on. It even uh, says it's loading up BSPs, which I'm pretty sure are from Quake 2. Interesting if that's the case. See that thing, whatever it is. So yeah, it, it feels like a dual uh, joystick shooter, but played with a mouse and a keyboard. Um, it's definitely about forward, backward strafing, and uh, and just uh, making sure you don't get hit. And with this game, uh, there really isn't much of the imagination from what you're seeing. There, there isn't much of a, uh, a learning curve to the controls or anything. Uh, third or first person shooters. Which I'm sure most of you do. But it's uh, it's also easy though. It, it's got an easy control to it too, where if you're not used to those kind of things, it seems like it'd be easy to pick up and play. And I did notice that when I started that there was a, a hard mode next to the arcade mode that I'm actually playing. This might offer a lot of challenge for uh, people looking for something a bit more hardcore. I just hope they have some kind of a uh, some kind of power-ups or something. If I'm just shooting these through the whole game, I might get a little boring. I want some bombs! Give me some bombs! How about a how about a railgun? Rocket launcher? Got a little change there. Got the repair thing. Here. Textures here too. Yeah, let me know. Is that health? What is that? Just a uh, green crystal. Up on me, huh? Man, those enemies are a little hard to see. Brown enemies in the brown sand. Yeah, that's the point. I'm trying to be camouflage. Doesn't help me at all. Oh, I'm dead. Respawn. Well, definitely a cool little game. Um, I'm not going to keep playing because it looks like the levels go on for a bit here. Um, but yeah, this will definitely be a game I'll be returning to. And here's V V V V V V V V V V V. The last game in the Humble Bundle 3. Bundle. And I'm pretty sure I'm on LSD right now. I'm freaking out. No, everything's cool. Uh, actually, there's a uh, analog mode for the game. Uh, makes it look like you're playing on an old CRT monitor or something. That's pretty funny. We're, we're going to play regular, though, because I don't want to have a seizure. So, uh, let's start the game. I played a little bit of this earlier. Uh, it, it seems pretty challenging, actually. Uh, it's got the old look of the ColecoVision or Atari game, but it's got this really kick-ass, like Mega Man-inspired music, 
which you'll hear in a second. Oh. So base controls, arrow keys, or waz, D keys, clip using the space bar. So I gotta find 19 more of those, which means you only saw me die a couple times there, but earlier I, I had to have done that.
guys, that's a wrap. Ooh.